Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have an unboxing video here. Uh, excuse some of the stuff in the background. I had to zoom out a bit to get this box and frame here. I'm not exactly totally sure what's in here. I have a couple of things coming in that I'm expecting at least. I, I think this is the RZE um, Resolute 38 millimeter. So let's uh, let's see if that's what it is. I'm not exactly totally sure. See, so yeah, I appreciate these watch loans. Uh, obviously, it saves me the effort of having to buy the watch, and I appreciate uh, spending some time with these watches. Uh, but I could totally be wrong too. So let's just see what we have here. Uh, looks like I was right. Okay, I'm sorry, it's the Valor. Uh, Valor 38 a prototype. Not for sale, with the green dial, so cool. Uh, I think this will work well for my six and a half inch wrist. I have the, I've had the Endeavor and the Resolute. It was a little bit larger. So let's check this thing out. Uh, there's some stuff there. If you want to read it, you can pause it. Uh, let me zoom in here. So if you want to read it, you can pause that. Just a typical card that comes with the watch purchases. Watch purchase. So cardboard outer box. It looks like a leather leatherette um, Velcro type inner pouch. Uh, it's a prototype. So I don't know if this is what's coming with the production model. I would assume so. Nice little pouch they have here. I guess you can put your patches or whatever you want on this Velcro here. like an FKM rubber strap to play around with and here's the watch over here so a 20 millimeter lug width okay so we have a NATO strap with titanium hardware I'm gonna say looks to be that Actually, this isn't a NATO strap. This is a... What is this thing? Oh, okay. So, it's a Zulu strap, and then it has a floating keeper. This The double stitching here kind of threw me off. So, that's just for the keeper to uh, float in here. It's a floating keeper. So, just from me moving around, it's been uh, starting to wind up here, starting to move. Or maybe it's moving already. So, we have hand winding. And uh, time set, so it does not have a ghost date. Very nice for a no date watch to actually have a no date movement. See, so yeah, it kind of reminds me a bit of the um, Formex that I had in the Formex field a while ago. Super lightweight. This strap feels like it's kind of heavy for this watch, actually. Okay, so a bit of a tight fit there. Yeah, nice and lightweight. Now let's zoom in. We'll zoom in and take a closer look at it. We'll close out the video. So titanium. Uh, reference number. This RZE logo. Sapphire crystal. Water resistant. 100 meter, 330 feet. It does have a NH38A, so yes, that is a true no date movement. Here's a look at the dial again, so everything's just printed on. It looks like, is there a ghost logo in there? Okay, I guess not. I thought I saw something in there. So yeah, so a prototype watch without a logo. And uh, there's our ZE logo on the side there. It's interesting there's no printing on the dial yet. But yeah, it's a prototype. So, oh, there it is down there. Okay. Very cool. Uh, you know what? Let me get this on wrist and then we'll close out the video. I like these nice 
lightweight watches. I don't know if this one has a coating on it or not. I'll have to look into that. I'm assuming it's coated. I don't know. Look at some nice drilled lugs. And a chamfer on the corner. You don't really see. The bezel might be polished. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's zoom back out and get this on rest, then we'll close out the video. I think I would prefer it on the FKM rubber strap. You know, I'll pause the video and put it on that strap too here in a minute. So, bonus uh, unboxing footage with the strap change. Maybe we'll change the strap on camera. I don't know. I don't know about needle straps or these type of straps. I just never really liked them. I like the idea of them. I like how easy it is to change, but um, I don't like the added thickness. And I really don't care for how you have to. Anyway, so there we go. Zoom in a little bit here. A little bit off center, a little bit too high. So there we go. With that movement, I'm guessing it's probably going to be about 12 millimeter thick. <sighs> Come on. No, I'll pause the video and I'll change the strap. Okay, so I do like these straps. They feel like FKM rubber. And uh, they have the quick release pin. So let's put it on. Put the straps on on camera here. There we go. I think I'm doing it the right way. 50-50 shot. There we go. I don't know about the color combination, but uh, I like this strap. It feels nice in hand. A lot better than that NATO strap. Sorry, Zulu strap, whatever, whatever you want to call it see where am i at with the hole position i could probably go down to that very last hole but be a little bit tight so let's go next one up second the tightest hole position here so let me know which strap you like the looks of better the rubber strap or the nato strap oh. I have a small wrist, so I always have this thing sticking off the back. I don't like that either. Maybe I'm just too picky. I don't know. But I I, um, I think the ticket for me is going to be to get some kind of a deployment clasp to use with FKM rubber straps. I think that would be the best combination for my preference. All right. Sorry about the long uh, unboxing video here. As always, thank you for your time, and thank you for watching.